Hey guys, it's me Shane, here to talk to you about some interesting video game news that has just happened. Uh, if you haven't been keeping up or been under a rock for the past three or four days, Microsoft has bought Bethesda, or Bethesda, I can't, I always have a hard time saying that name. You know, the company that makes Fallout, Doom, Quake, uh... I feel like I'm missing some things. Starfield, Evil Within, you know, those guys. Uh, and this is a really big deal. Now, to be quite frank, uh, they're not buying Besta, blah, Besta themselves. They're actually buying uh, ZeniMax, which is the parent company. And by buying ZeniMax, they don't they don't only just get Besta, they get four other uh, video game developers as well. I have... Uh, Articles from, I want to say NPR, from GeekWire, and I have another one from CNET. But I had to look up ZeniMax uh, Media, uh, and I just want to just tell you guys the developers they have. They have id Software, it makes Doom, Quake, Rage, uh, the Arcane Studios, which makes Dishonor and Prey, Machine Studios, which makes Wolfenstein, Tango, GameWorks, Evil Within, and of course, Bethesda. And best of the studio, uh, game studios, Elder Scrolls, Fallout. Those are some really big names. So, how much did they spend on this? Well, Microsoft spent seven point five billion dollars to acquire this entire stable of game developers, and uh, it's it's not even the biggest acquisition they've made. This is the third biggest acquisition, I believe. Uh, the first biggest acquisition made by Microsoft all time is LinkedIn, second to Skype. So this is number three. Uh back in 2014, 2013, Microsoft bought Mojang. And Mojang, they're the ones who made Minecraft, the thing that everybody's still playing years later. And that was only two point five billion dollars, I wanna say. I uh, just do some quick double checking. Yeah. It's yeah, 2.5, which is just, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. So this comes uh, a little bit after uh, Sony's big debacle with people trying to pre-order PS5s and that not really going well. And actually the uh, pre-orders for the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S, very difficult names, that actually went live on 22nd, which is... As of the time of recording this video two days ago. And that kind of went the same way Sony did. People were sold out within minutes, but that's not really their fault. It's the nature of the beast when new consoles come out. And at least Microsoft gave people a good month. They were telling people when this was going to happen. As opposed to Sony's, which was just up in the air. But either way it goes, both of them were complete disasters. Along with people... Wanting to get their PC processors, the uh, 3080, that that was sold out within a minute as well. I digress. Uh, this announcement comes after these things. And a lot of people are saying, wow, so that means that all these games that were coming on both systems by Bethesda, they're never, they're, they're never going to show up on Sony. And some people are also saying, well, that's not true. They still have to do... You know, split platforms, which is only true for two games, uh, Deathloop, and there was another game uh, that escapes me. I'm going to see if I can find it very quickly. I believe it was Deathloop and another new game that's coming out uh, this console generation and into the next one. Uh, the announcement was made by Phil Spencer, and even Todd Howard uh, made, a, made some comments on Twitter saying, no, we're not just going to, you know... All our games aren't exclusively just going to be Xbox games. They will be split. And uh, even Angry Joe and uh, Maximilian, these, they're, they're YouTubers and streamers who have commented on this. And if you were to ask me, do I believe that the games are going to be exclusive to Xbox? Or are some of the games that are going to go to PlayStation? I would say yes. You heard me correctly. I, I answered just yes. Because... Microsoft at the moment, while they're trying to get you, while they would love for you to buy the Series X, which is 500 just like the PS5, 
or the Series S, which is $299. That's $200 cheaper than the uh, digital version of the PlayStation 5. They're more interested in you buying their game service. Xbox Game Pass, which has been hailed by many people who have Xbox Game Passes, one of the best things that's actually come out for gamers. I don't have it because I wouldn't be able to take full advantage of it because, remember, Microsoft is not just a uh, console and software developer. They also do things for the PC. And a lot of their games come that come out for Xbox come out for PC on the exact same day. What Xbox Game Pass is promising is that when these games get a physical release, the download that you can play will be on the exact same day. And the service uh, might be slight. Actually, I, uh, I'll, I'll look it up through the magic of editing. Ooh, I found out that the Game Pass on Xbox and on PC are both just ten dollars per month. Um, and through the PC Pass, currently has a promotion that's four ninety nine a month. It has more than a hundred games that are either on Xbox One and things that are coming up. And on Windows 10. So, that's $10 a month. You want to do some quick math? Let's do some quick math. Bust out the handy dandy calculator, right? So, if you have 10 bucks a month, and you times that by 12 months, that's $120. So, for $120 a year, you are able to play not just games that come out in this console generation or the next one. They're allowing you to play games that came out when the first Xbox came out and Xbox 360 because their systems are completely backwards compatible. This is the thing that they promised. I know PlayStation was, they say 99% of PlayStation 4 games can play on PlayStation 5, which I'm going to touch on that a little bit towards the end. Try to make not try to make this video not too long, but that's actually a really brilliant deal, especially if you're a person that plays on PC or if you're a person that you know has an Xbox and you get a lot of mileage out of this thing. Xbox Game Pass is a thing that if Sony had, if Sony were doing this exact same thing, they would be making so much money. And I know for a fact, or should I say, I deeply believe. This is the way that Xbox is going. This is the way Microsoft is going. Because we've heard in the past that they believe that slowly consoles aren't going to be a thing. Which I disagree on as well. But while they are making consoles, they want you to buy this. Even if you just bought the Xbox Series S, which is just the digital version. And let's be quite, let me be just, uh, quite frank here. If you're not a person who is with, with this console war thing... The people who pledge their undying loyalty to mega companies that couldn't give a damn about you. If you're not in that and you were just, you just born today, a grown person born today, you got money and you want to buy a system, you want to get the most out of playing games, you would buy an Xbox Series S and get a Game Pass with it. Xbox Series S is roughly $300, $120 a month. That's Roughly around four hundred twenty dollars cheaper than both of the disc version of the consoles. Uh, only twenty dollars more than the digital version of the PlayStation, and you already have a library of games that is offered to you. This makes the most sense. And let's just say, out of the blue, you want to build your own PC. That Game Pass will transfer over to your PC. One of the best things they have come up with. And by them purchasing ZeniMax and having Vesta and all these amazing lineup of games, they're still going to let them sell Fallout and Elder Scrolls. And uh, the other two games that were promised, I'm not going to talk about those, but Elder Scrolls and Fallout, they're going to allow them to sell those on PlayStation because they're not like Sony. They're not too close-minded in saying it's either us or bus. No, they want that money. Microsoft has the mindset of we don't care where you play our games at as long as you're playing our games. And the fact that they, they also own Minecraft. Minecraft is on everything. Do you think they're getting paid for it? Yes. I'm not even going to let you. My answer for you. The answer is yes. They're getting paid for it. 
this is what they want. And the fact that you won't have to go out and spend $60 on Fallout 5 or Fallout New Vegas 2. Because they can make New Vegas 2 now. Because New Vegas uh, was developed by Obsidian working with Bethesda. And they were never able to make another Fallout I guess uh, Fallout New Vegas. But guess what? Microsoft owned Obsidian since 2018. They made Outer Worlds that came out uh, early on this year. Now they have Bethesda. They can say, hey guys, why don't you make a sequel to this game that a lot of people say is the best Fallout game. You see where this is going. They got the games. They have the IPs. Now they don't have to pay for copyrights for using these games if they wanted to use these games on the Game Pass because we own them. Now we can just put them on there and people are going to buy this for this. Honestly, this does change a lot because Sony could retaliate and well, I say retaliate, but Sony could buy up Capcom. There was rumors that Microsoft wanted to buy Sega. Microsoft has been looking at some Japanese developers for some time, and they're probably they're probably sneering one. I wouldn't be surprised. There's also rumors that uh, uh, Sony might buy uh, Square Enix or if they bought Square Enix. Well, most of the uh, Final Fantasies have been on PlayStation consoles for the last decade and a half, so I wouldn't be surprised about that. Um, well, if they bought Capcom, Street Fighter Five was only on PlayStation 4 anyway. Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, Capcom does have titles for both systems, but I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Um, and I'm wrong about the Final Fantasy thing. Final Fantasies have been split, but you tend to get more people playing your Final Fantasy games on PlayStation if they own both consoles. Um, there's also a rumor that they're going to buy Konami. Someone's going to buy Konami. And there's a Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 remasters on the way. Which is part of the reason why I wore this wonderful shirt. Got, I got it at Shark Robot. Sponsor me, Shark Robot. Sponsor me. Anyway, that's pretty amazing if they do it. And Konami at the moment is only making pachinko machines. So they're making money from gambling. And they also make medical equipment. Two really big things. I don't know if Sony's going to buy them. Sony could. I fear. I fear more if Sony buys a Square Enix. That That is a big, big hitter. That's a big play. Almost like this. So, how do I feel about this news overall? Pretty, pretty interesting gaming news. If I'm going to be quite frank with you for a lot of reasons I said before. Uh... <laughs> I believe the thing I wanted to touch on was about Sony being stuck in some old ways. Sony rebuffed uh, what Microsoft had said years ago about just digital services being the future. Sony has actually tried, but they failed because when it comes to... Th they have a PlayStation Now service on top of the, the uh, PSN service, which is another... I want to say it's between $20 to $30 for you to play... For you to stream older games. Now you can stream these older games. But you cannot share play them. And I think there are some restrictions on you. Actually streaming them on Twitch or YouTube. And a lot of people. Who are thinking on the business side of it. Are going to say. Obviously they want to make money. So they're going to make you buy these older games. That's also why they're not doing backwards compatibility. Because forget the fact that you own this game already. Buy it again. And. As a consumer, that's not consumer friendly. If you're thinking with a business mind, I see where you're coming from, but I'm thinking of like a consumer. That is one of the most selfish and such anti-consumer things to think of. And I've had people say, no, you know, I don't really care about playing my old games. What's the point of me buying the new one? When you buy these new systems, yes, for PlayStation 5, there's going to be the Miles Morales Spider-Man game, Demon Souls, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. You can also play those games on PlayStation 4. So they're not really exclusive, are they? They're not exclusive to the PS5. They're exclusive, they, you know, uh, they're exclusive to Sony. Demon Souls is exclusive to PS5. I'm completely wrong. But Spider-Man and DMC, the DMC5, you're going to be able to pick up the uh, special edition for $15 if you already have DMC5. Or you can just play it by the game for $70. 
And PlayStation's already taking the leap to 70. So again, if you're brand new to this, what would you rather pay for? Would you rather pay $70 for a new game? Or would you rather pay $120 for the whole year and play these games? I'm a guy that follows where the games go. So if through some stroke of luck, Microsoft was only had, uh, they were the only ones getting Street Fighter, I would follow Microsoft. If PlayStation only had Mega Man games, I would follow PlayStation. I, I've gone on record as saying, I would probably own a Nintendo console because I love Pokemon. That is mostly where I go to and everything else for me is extra. I know buying a system only for one game or so, it's kind of often kind of weird, but I follow the games. That's just what it is. And you should follow the games too. You should get the most out of your money if you care about those sort of things. Don't be fooled and don't be suckered to going just for Xbox or just for Sony or even just Nintendo when you when they're trying to tell you, well, you play Madden and that's the only game you play, but you got to play it on Sony or you got to play it on the Microsoft system. No, get the most out of your money. Do what you want and do what's better for your wallet. That's just what I believe. So, guys, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have the links down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the video, hit the notification bell so you can be notified about more videos like this. Share the video so we can show other people how great I'm doing at giving you guys good news and letting you know my piece on it. So please, be good, be blessed, wear a mask, Black Lives Matter, and I will definitely see you next time.